definitely not unexpected year or not, to say the least. Um, I remember when we had a gathering or event near to Chinese New Year and we were just talking about how like oh this is a bit like SARS it seems different but probably in a matter of months like three months we'll be back together office will be going on as per normal so that has really not been uh, what has actually happened in this past year uh, I think in terms of like my, how I've done my research uh, for the SR Northern Fellowship, things haven't changed that much because um, a lot of the things I've accessed would be to the NUS libraries which I've been able to access online. But in terms of my interactions with colleagues and uh, whether that's within my team or with uh, colleagues from other departments, I think that has changed a lot. Uh, a lot of our interactions took place virtually. So I think that's something that did change uh, in terms of timelines, there were also things that kept shifting. So, for example, the IPS Northern Lectures are supposed to take place earlier on in the year, but because there are questions of uh, whether we can do it hybrid, whether we can have going to be back to the full physical lectures, uh, yeah, the, those the different con the considerations I think were changing, or uh, what we wanted the lectures to look like was also not totally defined. So that's something that did change the way, uh, like the workflow or. Um, the timeline of uh, our projects. Uh. Whether I can really foresee like the after COVID part, um, but I think something that I'm looking forward to is seeing how like the conferences, events, roundtables will evolve. I think it will be quite a lot of like challenges for uh, events team on, and administration colleagues. But uh, I, I hope that. Um, We'll be able to see how hybrid events will go well or take our existing conferences to like a next level that's even better than before.